Of the 22 samples these researchers collected, 15 were oxidized before the expiration date. Six samples were mixed with large amounts of other oils, including sunflower, safflower, and soybean oil. Only two brands produced samples that were pure and non-oxidized. There was a recent 2020 study that showed that over 80%, 82%, according to the study, over 80% of avocado oils on the market are adulterated with fake oils. UC Davis researchers reported that, quote, at least 82% of test samples were either stale before the expiration date or mixed with other oils. In three cases, bottles labeled as pure or extra virgin avocado oil contained near 100% soybean oil, an oil commonly used in processed foods that's much less expensive to produce. Of the 22 samples these researchers collected, 15 were oxidized before the expiration date. Oil loses its flavor and health benefits when it oxidizes, not to mention it causes a lot of inflammation in your body, which happens over time and when exposed to too much light, heat, or air. Six samples were mixed with large amounts of other oils, including sunflower, safflower, and soybean oil. Only two brands produced samples that were pure and non-oxidized. This is a huge problem because I have family members, I have friends, I have people that are in my life that are think, they think they're doing the right thing, but freaking companies are just trying to make a quick buck off them and their health is in the toilet. The quality of foods that we choose are of the utmost importance. And then it's like people understand that, people get that, and then they're going out and they're trying to do the right thing and they're trying to buy olive oil and avocado oil but they want to save money themselves. They don't want to spend a fortune. They don't want to spend $15 on a bottle of avocado or olive oil when they could spend $6 on one or even cheaper because it, it saves them money, right? Like I'm all about saving money, right? But at the same time, it's like, if we don't know this and most people don't know this, they're just going to buy olive oil or avocado oil in plastic that is see-through, that, that is just being broken down by light, by heat, and then when they consume that, that is just causing a lot of oxidation inside the body. Not to mention, it's probably adulterated oil to begin with, then it's broken down, and it's just like, what is going on? And it's, it's, it's just heartbreaking, because people are trying to make the right decision, but companies are taking advantage of the market. So, when it comes to purchasing healthy fats, there's a lot to this. There's a huge discussion to this. The fresher, the better, right? If you are sourcing um, your animals firsthand, if you are going out there getting your, like eating avocados, right? That's probably better than getting avocado oil, right? There's a lot of nuance here, but like the fresher, the better. But if you're going to source some oils in like a bottle or a jar, first things first, make sure it's glass, make sure it's dark glass, like dark green, right? So like you would think about like a high quality bottle from Italy or something, right? Those ones that look fancy, that's probably or not, that's going to look, be a lot better. Uh, you want it to be glass, you want it to be dark glass. And typically the more expensive, the, the higher quality is. But when it comes down to it, I really only trust a couple different brands when it comes to this. Now, there's so many different clubs, like you can join olive oil clubs, you can join avocado oil clubs, and you can have things shipped in, uh, which is amazing. Like, that's awesome. But if you're just getting it at your local store, um, I look for a couple different brands. I'll link to those below. But the one that I use consistently is Primal Kitchen Avocado Oil, Extra Virgin and Non-Extra Virgin, as well as Primal Kitchen Extra Virgin and non-extra virgin olive oil. All that means when something is extra virgin, it just means that it was cold processed to retain more of the nutrients, right? It's just more virgin, extra virgin. And so that's really all that means. So people will use their extra virgin olive oil that has more nutrients in it, more polyphenols, more, uh, more of these beneficial things that we could be getting in in our fats. They're using it to cook with, and then heat is destroying all those nutrients which takes away the extra virgin properties. So 
uh, Primal Kitchen makes a couple different uh, brands. They make four, uh, two olive oils, two avocado oils, extra virgin I use to drizzle on my foods, whereas the non, the just regular olive oil, I will use for high heat cooking. Uh, typically the, the avocado oil I'll use for high heat cooking, whereas the extra virgin avocado oil I'll pour on my foods as well. But those are 100% pure. They're not adulterated. And there's something fun if you want to try this out. I've done this before and I kind of do it regularly, but you can drink it. You can take a swig of it, of the olive oil in particular. But uh, high quality olive oil will actually burn the back of your throat. It'll have like this nice little tin, ting to the back of your throat. And if you cough a few times, I think this is an actual thing. It's called like the cough test. But like the more you cough, the higher quality the olive oil is. So if you take like a shot of olive oil, it doesn't burn and it doesn't um, really have much of a taste to it and you don't cough, uh, that's probably soybean oil or adulterated with some other oil. But if you grab like Primal Kitchen olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, you're gonna cough a few times and it's gonna burn for like a minute. Uh, but it's definitely high quality stuff that I recommend. You can check it out, use the link below. I also am affiliated with them. So if you use that link, I will receive commission in return. Uh, you can use code CRAIG10 and you'll get 10% off of everything there. But uh, there's also some other brands I'll link to below uh, that I, may, I might use on occasion in a pinch if I'm in a bind, but typically I'm always using Primal Kitchen uh, products.